Hi, this is Paul. I had a couple of meetups over the last few days, so I wanted to do a little meetup report. We had, this is just a picture of just a few left in our meetup in Chino, California. John Van Donk, way over there on the, on the one side next to me, is the host of that meetup, and I came down to help him get it started, and we had a, we had a terrific time together. Uh, Mr. Reagan, I spent the day, uh, quite a bit of the day with Mr. Reagan, who has his own YouTube channel, and we had a, had a terrific time together. He did an interview with me, which is mostly on politics, which makes me kind of uncomfortable and nervous, so we'll see how it comes up, because I'm not... Well, you'll, you'll, we'll see how the, we'll see how the, the interview goes and we'll see if I have to do any, uh, yeah, budding and explaining myself after, after, uh, Mr. Reagan does the interview. And probably in a few days, <clears throat> Mr. Reagan and I will do our own conversation via Zoom, the way I do most of my other conversations. And I'm going to get Mr. Reagan to talk about religion. So it should be, it, those should be interesting talks. But we gathered folks from all over Southern California in spite of the traffic, and some people drove three hours through L.A. traffic to get to Chino, which, as just what someone told John Van Donk, was the cultural backwater of Southern California. But Chino actually has a fair number of uh, people in in my church tradition and so that's part of the reason i had to go down there for a meeting for work and so john van john van donk and i began the meeting by talking about the value of groups and the value of getting together and i thought i hope that was a we began it with a kind of a half hour conversation just john and i having having a conversation and then we did introductions around the circle and we had about i don't know 13 14 15 people i didn't i didn't count but it was i thought it was a great evening and i think um, i think i think everybody had a good time and i think a number of people want to continue to meet together now i'll you know i don't know how often i can get down to chino to participate in those meetings but i was really happy to see john get it started and john will be a terrific host for meetups john does uh has another group of competitive storytelling and another group so john is a You'll see my conversation with him in previous videos. I'll put a link down below. He he's uh, he used to be a minister in the Christian Reformed Church. In the video I did with him, he pretty much tells a story. and He's led a very interesting life. And so, John, I think he showed the group what a terrific host he'll be and what a terrific facilitator of, of interesting and engaging and meaningful conversations he will be. And John's actually the guy who got me doing meetups. And then last night we had our, we usually do two meetups in Sacramento each month. We do a, a weekend meeting and we do a midweek meeting. So our next meeting will be November 6th, but this was our weekend meeting and, and we had it at church. Um, a few, few quotes early in the meeting when we were going around doing our introductions. Jordan Peterson has lost meaning, one of the individuals said. There are a number of individuals who who don't listen to much Jordan Peterson anymore, but continue to come to the meetups because they find the meetups to be terrifically meaningful and stimulating and vital conversation. But Peterson is just kind of saying the same things over and over and over again. And so a number of people have lost interest and, and just don't listen to much of what he says. And then announced that he'll do another book, uh, more 12 rules, and this individual said, nope, that's a, I'm not interested in reading that book. And then another person said, how about 12 rules for death? And I thought, wow, there's a much more interesting conversation and a much more interesting book title. My dog is a little needy right now, and so he's making all this noise below me, and I'm petting him while I, while I talk to you. Yeah, he's a, he's a needy little rescue dog, but he's a, we love him, even though he's, yeah, you've got all these issues, I know. So, 12 rules for death. That'd be a really wild conversation. Yeah, go ahead and bite my hand. Hang on. I'm gonna... Yeah, I gotta pause this video. Yeah. In our week, on our Sunday evening groups, we usually have more people than in our midweek groups. And so we broke up into two smaller groups, and one talked about, one group talked about the Kavanaugh tweet, and their conversation went over into abortion. And one, one of the group members postulated an idea which is actually something I've thought of in the past that as as technology continues to um, continues to make new things possible that Roe v. Wade's viability idea might have the unintended consequence of actually protecting the unborn as 
the viability stage gets increasingly early, making it potentially illegal, making it potential for states to declare abortion to be illegal where, you know, when children where the fetus is viable. The other conversation we had was about Jordan Peterson's university idea and the and the humanities are the humanities just doing indoctrination what are the humanities what can jordan peterson accomplish with this idea where a lot of us are still waiting to see some kind of rollout for something and some of the members work in universities and it was both conversations were terrific so there's just a brief um report on the meetups and with that this was this was the 16th meetup we've had in sacramento and we're doing two a month and we're going strong and we've got a really solid core group that enthusiastically comes to to many of them and we've got someone making strope waffles for our group now and it's a uh, it's a terrific terrific time so if you're in the area you know sign up meetup.com we that's where we post our groups and that's where you know we that's where you can find when and where these things are going i'll probably be going down to fresno again and meeting with that group again and i think we'll be having a pretty strong contingent of the sacramento group that wants to do a road trip together so we'll drive down to fresno and have a meetup down in fresno i know my friend matt will be heartened to hear by that to hear that so that's what's happening